East Asia has influenced history in many other countries. As we reflect on the history of East Asia, they have made a large contribution to the civilizations that have been established today. They affected all the aspects of society, from fashion and beauty to their literature establishment and arts. East Asia adapted itself to fit the trends that Europe was following and wanted to imitate Europe because of the conception that Europe was a high-level functioning society whose foundation and morals were superior to other civilizations. East Asia today are an economic powerhouse, with Chinese trade being the most important trade in the world. East Asia is important in history because of the many influences and inventions that have contributed civilizations and helped develop humanity to what it is today. The Silk Road was a vital trading route in the ancient world that stretched from China all the way to Persia and even Rome. The Silk Road was named after the silk trade that China brings through their route to trade for other goods. China was the only country that knew about silkworms and their production of silk. So if a country wanted silk, they needed to trade with China. Silk was an important export for China because Europeans considered it as an important symbol for wealth and high status. Silk is an exceptionally soft material that could be dyed assorted colors which brought vibrancy and creativity to the space it was established in. Silk is an extremely hard textile to manufacture and create products with. That is why silk was sought after by many aristocrats in Europe and throughout the world. Along with silk, China also brought their culture, technologies, and religion along the Silk Road. Buddhism spread throughout Central Asia and Southeast Asia and is very prominent even today. An example of the spread of Buddhism is the Tibetan monks, which have been present for centuries. As pivotal as religion is, one of the most important inventions made by China was paper. It helped document and record all supplies going to and from China, and it also helped write down stories and tradition that were being verbally passed by traveling merchants and families. With the invention of paper, it led to widespread access of information which helped spread ideas faster and in an effective manner. This resulted in the spreading of Chinese philosophy of Confucianism and Taoism throughout China and other parts of Asia. With the widespread use of ideas being put on paper, it helped the general population gain access to basic education. Paper also helped artists produce art much faster and more abundant, which could then be purchased and displayed. This created a market for East Asian art, which then later influenced European art. The most well-known artist that drew inspiration from East Asian art was Vincent van Gogh. Some of his paintings had Japanese ukiyo-e art in the background, and he even purchased many ukiyo-e paintings for his house. The entertainment industries in East Asia are famous in the West. K-drama, Chinese fighting movies, and anime are well known and are praised by Westerners. With the rise of East Asian entertainment comes the rise of Western fans. People from all around the globe watch East Asian movies and TV shows and go to East Asian concerts like K-pop concerts. Chinese fighting movies popularize martial arts around the globe. In fact, Bruce Lee was the person that invented mixed martial arts and helped popularize it in America. He also popularized Chinese fighting movies and changed how Americans view Chinese culture. He also helped spread the ancient Chinese fighting style of Kung Fu to the Western world. Just as Bruce Lee bridged the gap between East Asia and the Western world, this could also be seen with the rise of K-pop. The rise of K-pop in the Western world was started by a musician named Sai. He created the extraordinarily popular music video, Gangnam Style. It took the world by storm because of how fashionable and goofy the music video is. Fashion is an important identification for the K-pop industry. Usually, when a company is planning out for a new music video, they picked out particular outfits that could emphasize the theme that was put in the video. With the concept of K-pop becoming popular in the Western world, this became an outlet for Western individuals to familiarize with themselves with Korean culture. However, with the rise of K-pop comes the rise of crazy fans of K-pop and Korean culture from all around the world. These are called Sasaeng fans and Koreaboos, and they are obsessed with their favorite K-pop group or the Korean culture. They will do anything for their idols to notice them, or they will do anything to be a Korean or at least act like one. While this is not bad, 
It can, however, be overdone and overdramatized. There are also European authors that have written about East Asia. Madame Butterfly by Giacomo Puccini is about a Japanese person that fell in love with an American sailor and marries him. He leaves for America and she waits for him with her child. East Asian food is one of the most popular genres of cuisine in the West. Many people go to Chinese buffet, Japanese sushi restaurant, or Korean barbecue because of how, fo- how much food they serve at a low cost. Chinese food was considered convenient to Westerners. Ancient food started as street food and slowly became staple foods of the East Asian countries, thus being part of their culture. Like in Japan, where takoyaki started as a street food and is still a street food in Japan, but it is now being sold at restaurants and is a well-known Japanese cuisine. Additionally, many famous East Asian foods are traditional foods that are usually eaten in big occasions and holidays. Like dumplings, which are usually eaten on a Lunar New Year, there are also Asian cuisines that used to be served to royalty before making its way to the general public. The pecking duck, for example, used to be served to Chinese emperors because of how rare and hard it is to make the dish. Now, pecking duck is being sold at high-end Chinese restaurants and is sought after by many people because of the crispy skin and rich flavors. East Asian food culture had also gained popularity in the Western culture with the recent discovery of the flavor of umami, which defined a salty, fishy flavor that is contributed by monosodium glutamate. Many East Asian cultures are already familiar with this flavor profile. Due to the access to particular ingredients that contain this flavor, including seaweed and fish sauce. Originally, many Western trained chefs frowned upon the idea of umami due to the smell and the reputation of the ingredients being poor for your health. As there have been more research conducted on the concept of umami, the flavor profile began to make its way to high profile restaurants and the idea of umami became common to the food industry. An example of an ancient ingredient that became popular in Western cooking was the introduction of sriracha. Though the origins of the hot sauce hails from Southeast Asia, the Chinese were the ones to patent it and it took the Western world by storm. This hot sauce became extremely popular in the west coast of the United States, and this sauce was able to help strengthen the genre of Asian fusion. Sriracha was being, beginning to replace the traditional American hot sauce because of the unique garlic flavor that complements the v- vinegar tones. While American hot sauce revolves around the vinegar flavors, as a result, sriracha became a staple in specifically American cuisine and is now widely popular with many different genres of cuisines. Because these unique flavors that were being introduced, East Asian cuisine had became more popular with the Western population and the positive reaction solidified its place in the world. Literature in East Asia are famous around the world. Famous East Asian genres are Asian comic books, old literature, and fiction. Asian comic books like the Chinese web novels and the Japanese manga are read by millions of people around the world. Manga especially has been on the rise in the West ever since anime became popular in pop culture. But the spotlight on East Asian comic books also gave rise to the old literature of Asia, like The Art of War by Sun Tzu, the philosophical books of Osamu Dazai, or the short stories of Ryunosuke Akutagawa, which is also regarded as the father of Japanese short story. When Europeans discovered Asia, they came across different types of people that they are now used to seeing. Then, they started fantasizing about them and how they would act when taken to Europe and shown the ways to be civilized. Many Europeans then view Asians as civilized and consider them inferior to the Europeans. The book, The Question of Who, talks about a Chinese man that was taken to Europe by a French priest and discovered how Europe was different to Asia. He was later thrown to an insane asylum because of his chaotic tendencies when roaming around France. When people buy a product from the store, most of the time, the product was made in China. Most of the products that we buy are made in China or some other parts of Asia. They are cheap, abundant, and durable enough. China has many factories building products to sell to other countries. There are also companies to build factories in China because of the abundant and efficient workforce there. An example of this 
as Apple and its Chinese factories to build the iPhone and other Apple products. East Asia has also one of the most important trading ports in the world. Hong Kong is one of these ports, and it is an important and busy port that houses many products. Many of the world's products come to the ports of Hong Kong. However, the busiest trade port in the world is the port of Shanghai, which is strategically built next to the Yangtze River in the Chinese coastline. With the modifications that were being made throughout the world, East Asia has clearly made a mark on other cultures. East Asia has been influential in other countries and around the world due to the fact that it is an important trading hub for world trade. It also effectively uses the internet and social media to spread its products and culture around the world. East Asia is also at the forefront of technology and is constantly inventing and designing new or improved machinery for the advancement of humanity. East Asia has also successfully taken the Western and American market by being able to make a wide variety of products, like how China is supplying companies with cheap labor in order for the company to be able to lower their market prices. Not only is East Asia major suppliers in the physical market, but their contributions to the entertainment industry has been explosive to developing and familiarizing the world with their culture.